Hello students, today we start a new topic in a construction equipment management chapter. Topic name is a depreciation. So first of all we discuss about what is depreciation. So depreciation can be defined as a loss or decrease in the value of the property due to use, life, wear and tear and uh, decay and uh, obsolescence. So it is called a depreciation. As the equipment which is purchased today will not work forever and this may be due to wear and tear of the equipment. So depreciation is uh, one of the important topic in uh, construction equipment management and uh, it is to be replaced at the proper time for a continuance of a business and uh, the replacement of the equipment at the end of its uh, useful life involve money and uh, this must be inter internally generated uh, from the earning of the equipment and uh, the recover of the money from the earning of an equipment for its uh, replacement purpose is called as a depreciation fund. So here depreciation means decrease in the value of any physical assets with the passage of time so it's uh, most important and uh, here uh, depreciation and tax so from the figure you exactly seen if we use the method number one two three whichever we use but as per the increase the time so here from the graph you exactly seen if time is increased and uh, purchase cost is uh, as it is and uh, if we find out the depreciation from the different method so depreciation cost is decreased when time is increased means here year wise in a first year depreciation cost is decreased and second year uh, uh, cost is uh, uh, salvage value is uh, higher and uh, salvage value is decreased as per the time is increased and depreciation is increased so here different methods is generally used for the depreciation so here there are main five method is there first one is a straight line method second one is a sum of uh, year digit method third one is a decline balance method and uh, fourth one is a accelerated recovery method and uh, fifth one is a uh, other method so here in a fourth one method is also sinking fund method is a accelerated recovery system and uh, fifth one is a, in a other method we use the service output method so let's we start with a uh, straight line method so in this method of the depreciation it is assumed that depreciation is the same for every year and therefore fix some in is charge for the depreciation amount throughout the lifetime of the equipment like depreciation cost for a first year and depreciation cost for after five years both are the same means depreciation is same for the every year we calculate and uh, such that the accumulated sum of at the end of the useful life of the equipment is exactly equal to the purchase value of the property now we uh, we make the important assumption that uh, inflation is uh, absent and uh, here one of the equation or a formula for finding out the depreciation for the straight line method is a uh, dt is equal to p minus f divided by n so what is dt dt is a depreciation uh, amount for the period of t d means depreciation and t means uh, time and uh, p minus f divided by uh, here equation is a p minus f divided by n means p is a first cost of the property of of equipment and uh, f is a salvage value of the equipment and uh, minus uh, p minus f divided by n and n is a life of the equipment so in this uh, straight line method depreciation is uh, decreased same for every year now in a next method next method is a decline uh, 
some year of a digit method so in a some year of digit method it is assumed that the book value of the property or equipment decrease at the decrease the rate clear so like if the equipment life is uh, eight years so first the sum of the years is computed as a sum of the year is a one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus eight seven plus eight means eight years summation of the eight year is a one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight here name indicates sum of year digit method means life of the equipment is a eight year so summation of the eight year is a is equal to 36 and the rate of depreciation charge for a first year is assumed as as the highest and then it then it decrease so the rate of depreciation for the year 1 to 8 respectively is a 8 divided by 36 then after 7 divided by 36 then after 6 divided by 36 then after 5 divided by 36 4 divided by 36 3 divided by 36 2 divided by 36 and at the last year means at the end of the 8 year 1 divided by 36 so for any year of the depreciation is calculated by multiplying the corresponding rate of uh, of depreciation with p minus f so dt means depreciation uh, of a particular time is equal to rate multiplied by p minus f so we are already discussed so p is uh, so we are already discussed so p is uh, first cost of the property or equipment and uh, f is a salvage value and uh, rate uh, for which year we calculated so we write down 8 multiply by uh, sorry 8 divided by 36 7 divided by 36 respectively and uh, the formula for dt for the uh, specific year of a t is a uh, dt is equal to n minus t plus 1 divided by n multiply by n plus 1 divided by 2 p minus f so these are the formula for some year digit method now another method method number 3 is a de uh, decline balance method so in a decline balance method in this method the depreciation a constant percentage of the book value of the previous period of the equipment or a property will be charged as a depreciation amount for the current period and uh, this approach is a more realistic approach since the depreciation charges decrease with the life of the equipment which matches with the earning potential of the equipment and the book value of the end of the life of the equipment may not be exactly equal to the salvage value of the equipment and uh, this is the major limitation of this uh, of this approach so here depreciation cost formula for finding out by the decline method uh, decline balance method is a dt is equal to k multiplied by b t minus 1 so what is uh, dt d is uh, d is a depreciation t is a period or a time k k value is a fixed percentage means year wise percentage is a decrease so here k is a percentage and uh, bt is a book value of the equipment for the particular period t means uh, time t so here bt is also bt minus 1 minus dt is a formula for finding out the uh, book value or depreciation value now uh, fourth method is a accelerated uh, recovery system so it's uh, also is a sinking fund method so here in this method depreciation of the book value and uh, in a sinking fund method in this method depreciation of the book value decrease at the increase rate with respect to life of the property or equipment so here the loss of the value 
of the property is made available in the form of the cumulative de depreciation amount at the end of the life of the property and uh, equal depreciation amount at the end of the each year or each period during the lifetime of the property so it's a acceleration uh, recovery system method now here here one example is given so here simple small uh, example is given so effect of depreciation and the tax on the selection of uh, alternatives so here depreciation and uh, comparison between the two equipment is uh, given so here the following five things is uh, required first is a uh, initial cost second is a uh, operating cost third one is a uh, economic life fourth one is a uh, corporate tax and fifth one is a uh, salvage value and comparison of both the two values is given so here initial cost for the equipment one is a 12 lakh uh, uh, 50000 and uh, equipment b initial cost is a 7.5 lakh similarly operating cost is a 3 lakh is a operating cost and uh, equipment b uh, 5.5 lakh is a operating cost and economic life is a 5 year and uh, here for equipment b econo uh, economic life is a 5 years and uh, corporate tax is a 50 50 percent for uh, both the side and uh, salvage value is a uh, zero so at the end of the uh, five year salvage value is zero now here for equipment one pre-tax cash flow diagram look like this so here this line so uh, so the years and uh, values in rupees lakh so in a first year means in a zero year zero year we purchase the equipment in a 12.5 lakhs so here from the our side it's a negative negative value why negative because it's a outgoing value and then after in a every year every year operating cost is a 3 lakh so 3 lakh is outgoing from our side so outgoing first year is a 3 lakh second year is a 3 lakh third year is a 3 lakh similarly equipment is uh, used for the five years so at at the end of the five year it each and every year three lakh is a uh, operating cost and uh, here this diagram is a cash flow diagram for the equipment so here also here you see that uh, 50 percent 50 percent value is given of the corporate tax so here 0.25 lakhs is a operate uh, sorry tax uh, as a cash flow uh, diagram so in a each and every year 0.25 lakh is each and every year we write at here so it's a outgoing value so we write in a downward direction or draw in a downward direction similarly for equipment b so for equipment b uh, 7.5 lakh is a purchase cost means uh, equipment cost and uh, its outgoing value so we write it here and similarly in a each and every year cash flow means here 5.5 lakh is a operating cost so here write we write it here 5.5 lakhs in a each year is outgoing for operating cost at the up to the five year and similarly cash flow diagram for equipment b so here 2 lakh is a in each and every year 2 lakh is a corporate tax for each and every year so these are the cash flow diagram for equipment a and b so it's for uh, for your uh, reference and uh,
now next topic is a evaluating replacement alternative so steps for uh, involved in a replacement analysis so first uh, calculate the dep uh, depreciation and replacement cost then after calculate the investment cost of the equipment of uh, each year of uh, analysis period then after forecast the maintenance and repair cost and uh, forecast uh, downtime and loss of the productivity cost and uh, calculate the obsolescence cost which is product of obsolescence factor and a given operating cost and calculate the total cost of the year and uh, plot the total cost per year for a different years so these are the evaluate, evaluating replacement alternatives now here we uh, stop our lecture and in the next lecture we discuss the another topics thank you